Hello lovely people, welcome to my YouTube channel Rich Brain. In this video, we are going to find a solution to the question on the board, which says that we should evaluate the integral of sine square x dx. So come as we find a solution to this. So remember, from double angles, our cos 2x can be cos square x minus sine square x and this is gotten from compound angles and also you can say cos square x plus sine square x is equal to one then we can make cos square as a subject and say that our cos square s is equal to one minus sine square x so in place of cos square x here, we can substitute 1 minus sine square x and say our cos 2x is equal to 1 minus sine square x for that, then minus our sine square x. So get cos 2x to be 1 minus sine square x minus sine square x will be minus 2 sine square x so in making sine square as a subject we can say 2 sine square s will be equal to 1 minus cos 2x so we divide both sides by 2 so and say that our sine square x is equal to 1 minus cos 2x all over 2 so in place of sine square s in our problem, we substitute 1 minus cos 2s all over 2. In substituting, we can say the integral of sine square x dx will be equal to the integral of 1 minus cos 2x all over 2 dx. So we can rewrite this as the integral of half times 1 minus cos 2x dx. So we can factor our constant out. We can say half the integral of 1 minus cos 2x dx. So in integrating this, say so this is half or integrate one will get x, that's with respect to x. Now how do we integrate this? We differentiate the angle here, which is 2x, to get 2. Integrate cos. When we integrate cos, we get sine. Repeat the angle and use the differential to divide. Please do well to check out my videos on how to integrate this on YouTube then plus our constant of integration. And we can now expand and get half x, that's when half multiply x, then when half multiply this, we get sine 2x all over 4 plus c. So we can then conclude that the integral of sine square x ds is equal to half x minus sine 2x over 4 then plus our constant i hope this helped please if it does remember to subscribe to my youtube channel if you are here to like comment and share my videos because these are the only ways you can help promote my youtube channel and i can record more mathematical content for you 